Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn a very important concept on candlestick patterns. That is psychology of pin bars. Pin bars means, let me show you an example of the pin bar candle, how it will look like. There will be a body, a very long. It might be like this, or will have a pin bar in the shape of a body with long width in upper side. These are the pin bar candlesticks you will see in the chart. Now I have marked in black color. You can see these candlesticks in red color or green color as well. Now in this session, I am going to cover two pin bar candlesticks. In another session, I will cover another two pin bar candlesticks. So let's go ahead. I am clearing this one and we'll show which two pin bars I'm going to cover. Let me mark the first pin bar a body, the long tile at the downside, and the color of this candle is in green color. Now this candle can be called as hammer. I'm writing its name. This candlestick can be called as hammer. Why it is calling as hammer? The shape is giving a formation of hammer. That's why we are just naming it as hammer candlestick pattern. And let me tell you what is the importance of this hammer candlestick pattern. Let me mark you how the price will behave to form this hammer candlestick pattern. First, what will happen? The price has opened at this level. After opening at this level, the sellers came and they pushed the market to downside. And they pushed and they made till this level. Here they made the low. After farming this level, now buyers came here and they started to push the market upward direction. They reached the opening price. Now, after reaching the opening price, they have crossed the opening price and they went a little bit higher and they fell till here and they closed at this level. Now, if you look at this candle, how it is looking like? It is looking like the same hammer candlestick pattern. Now, what happened here? Previously, there were the sellers who are in very good charge and they were bringing the market down. After bringing the market down, buyers came into the picture and they overcome the sellers and made the market to go upward direction. First sellers were there. After buyers take the, took the charge and they moved the market to upward direction and they closed the market above their open position. I mean above their open range. They opened at this level, but they closed higher than open range. And there will be a small width that is negligible. Now, what this week is giving us? The sellers lost their control. Sellers lost their control over the market. When you see this candlestick pattern near the key levels, key level means any support zones or any fib zones. When you see this candlestick pattern near the key levels, this shows that the market will move to upward direction from that level. This is our first pin bar candle, which is termed as hammer, and it will play a major role in the chart reading. Now moving to another candlestick pattern. Another candlestick pattern is shooting star. Now how it will look like? Let me mark this level. There will be any small bit at the downside. And it will be termed as shooting star. Let me write its name. Okay. This is also a pin by candle, which plays a major role in the market. Now, what is its significance? Says how the psychology of this candle behaves. First, there was a market open at this level. After opening at this level, what happened? Buyers came into the market and they bring the market to the upward direction. They made this high. Till this level, they took the market. After reaching this level, sellers came into the picture and they brought the market to downside and they reached the opening price and they make the market to fall and closed below the opening range. Here, after closing below the opening range, the candlestick will look like this. Now let me show you the exact scenario what happened. First, buyers were in charge. They brought the market to the upward direction. Then sellers came into the charge. They brought the market to downward direction and closed below the opening rate. That means previously buyers are in charge. 
after sellers came into the charge and they took whole charge of the market and made the market to fall and close below the particular opening point. Now what this says, if this candle is found at any key levels, now what, are, what will be the key levels? Again, the key levels will be any resistance zone or any FIB zone. If you find at those zones, it will say that market will fall from that zone. These are the significance of shooting star. Now let me revise the last candlestick pattern in the last one. That is a hammer candlestick. The significance of this hammer candlestick pattern is the buyers will be in charge when this candlestick pattern comes at the key zones. What it says, it says that market will move upward direction. Okay, this is about the psychology of the pin bars of shooting star and hammer. We will see an example of these things. Now we have moved to the charts now. At the charts, I wanted to show you how the pin bars behaved in the market. Now look at here. This is our key zone. At the key zones, we found a hammer candlestick patterns. Let me show you where we found hammer candlestick pattern. A hammer candlestick pattern is nothing but what? It is a pin bar. Now here we found a pin bar. After finding a pin bar, the market behaved as we discussed in the class. Now look at here. Here also we found a pin bar. That is nothing but a hammer. After hammer candlestick, the market completely moved to upside direction. This is the example of a hammer candlestick. Now we'll see an example of shooting stars as well. Now this is this whole thing is our key zone, right? At the key zone, what we have to find? We have to find a pin bar candlesticks. Let me show you. Look at here. Here we found a pin bar candlestick pattern. After pin bar, market. Now at the same key level, we found another pin bar candle. After pin bar candle, the market again. This is how these pin bar candlesticks plays a very important role in the chart reading and they will act according to the market. That's it for today's session. We'll meet in our next video with another two candlestick patterns. Thank you all. Subscribe the channel and share with your friends also.